I'm back folks, I'm back, it's been a while, it has been a while, I'm surprised my tackle hasn't turned to dust but I am back. So I haven't been fishing for over a month actually, um, the last time I went out was the European Opens back at the beginning of March. There's been a couple of times where I planned to go fishing and either weather, the weather's took a turn or I've just couldn't be bothered. The weather looked alright, the tides looked alright, I managed to get an early finish from work and I've come to Lady Bay on the Bristol Channel. The reason I'm doing the intro from the van is because I've got down here and the weather forecast was saying sunny spells and 5 to 8 mile an hour winds. Definitely not 8 mile an hour winds and it's on shore as well so um, no idea what the audio is going to be like. Um, I'll do some recording down there when I get set up um, and hopefully I can scrub it a little bit in the editing but if not, well it is what it is, I'm out fishing and I'm looking forward to it, weather be damned. Hopefully, you can hear me. I think so. There we are then, set up and fishing. Oh, that could be a bite. Oh, you never know, guys. I might have just got you a, a bite live on camera. Anyway, while well, that's sorting itself out, Yeah, Lady Bay, um, it is, time now is about half past five, a lot later than I was like, hoping to get here. <coughs> I'm just looking down into the water to see if there's any weed. I think there is a bit of weed there, which might, might be causing that. High tide's about half eight today. Um, I wanted to get down here a lot sooner, I wanted to go to the tackle shop on the way because I've still got no tip lights. Unfortunately, the two and a half hour drive took me nearly four hours. Um, and yeah, scuppered those plans. So a little bit later than I was hoping, but we should get two and a half hours up and I'm just gonna fish it till whenever. Hopefully that sun isn't bouncing off my bonts too much. So yeah, the plan is just fish into darkness and fish until I get bored really, or run out of bait. As a risk mitigation, I brought a pack of squid and a pack of blueies and a pack of black frozen lug out of the, uh, out of the freezer. So we are, not, are on basic rations, but they're all very productive baits. So, you know, anything could happen. Oh, yeah. Buddies, by the way. Hopefully you can see that there. Bit of a logo on the back. I'm really pleased with them. Um, I've got some beanies as well, which I've brought. I brought one with me because I'm sure it's going to drop cold later. So I'll show you that in a bit. I'm placing orders on the first and the fifteenth of every month. I hope you guys are all all right. I hope you're doing okay. Clocks have gone forward now. Days are getting longer. Weather should start to get better. If you can't tell by my squinty, squinty face got a lot to look forward to. Oh that's a bite, that's a bite. Oh I'm just casting this other rod out. Just put that down there somewhere. This could be Oh I think this might be a dog eat. It's not doing a lot, you can feel it pirouetting. Oh there there, there's the odd head shape. I think we're gonna have to move on to the next ledge in a minute. Staying low, whatever it is. It's 
seeing a lot of weed and I'm seeing a eel a bloody eel Ugh, at least it's not made a complete goon of me uh, my rig yet All right, let's get this dealt with plenty of weed still though All right. Let's get the weed off your head, pal. Well, I'll tell you what, that is pretty well hooked, that. To the point where, there we go, in here. Get me a little, not sure if you can see any of this, but still. Oh, get off my rod, you prick. this down here hopefully you can see but I think T-bar drop him into this little pool here there we go he's off all right I've got to try and get him back out of that pool sit down sit still sit still there we are on conger eel tiny little strap but it is a fish, nonetheless. Let's get him back. See that, pal? No problems at all with them going back. Anyway, I think we need to think about moving off this ledge. Oh, they are slimy little critters. Well, let me tell you, folks. You're not going to get a much more comfortable setup than this. Probably say it on every video, but this is why I love fishing because, like I say, my head's been a bit of a shed, temper's been flaring. Um, but three and three and three quarter hour drive down here. And on the way down, I was like, oh, what, what am I bothering? We've been fishing for an hour now. We've already had that one strap conger. I'm sorry, the sun's just going down. And all my troubles are forgotten. Like I say, I hope you're doing well. If you're not, do reach out to somebody. It doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be the missus, it doesn't have to be a mate. There's, you know, independent, anonymous lines that you can ring. Just don't sit and suffer in silence. Let's talk about it. A few guys have messaged me on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, and we've had chats on there. It's been, they've been really good chats, to be honest. So let's just talk about it. It's okay to not be okay. I think I've got another inquiry on that right rod. <coughs> I'm casting slightly to the left. Because the tide's going left to right as it's coming in, still coming in. We've got about another hour of the tide coming in. So I'm casting out to the left and I stay in there maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then slowly they start to walk and then eventually they end up out towards the, the bridge. But that one where that one got out round there last time, that's where I picked that conger up from. And that is a bite. I'm pretty confident that that is a bite. I'll tell you what, let's get the head mount out. Sort that out. Because I guarantee you I'll catch a decent fish and I'll lose it and you won't be able to see it on the big camera. Let's get the old GoPro on the, on the job. Not sure what went on with the camera. At what point I hit the, uh, the effect button, but I think the last clip was all in black and white. did look a bit funny when I was looking at it on the, uh, on the screen. And then I noticed it's, uh, it flicked around to effects. 
Oh, done the GoPro. Feels weird not having a hat on and having the GoPro on. Let's have a feel. Love a good feel. Who doesn't love a good feel? Set on back down. Hmm. Oh, what a cracking sunset. And as I mentioned. There will be no crisp review on this video. I'm sure a lot of you will be disappointed by that because I've actually got off my arse and made me a dinner. So in here, it's not all salad, don't worry. I've not gone completely bonky mad, but in here, I've got some salad. It's probably blow away in a second, hopefully. I mean, but then under there, Got a load of lean mints, a bit of bang bang rice, some peppers, some onions, a bit of chilli, a bit of garlic. It's all good. There you go, just one last bit of lettuce to eat. Mm. If I do say so myself, it's pretty bloody tasty. I tell you. So happy I came out tonight. So happy I came out tonight. What a stunning evening. Hopefully you guys can see that sunset. If not, I've got my phone over there doing a hyperlapse. So we'll see what that looks like in a minute. But that is a cracking sunset. I'm so excited as well. I know, I've, like I say, I've had a rough couple of weeks, but I have, it's made me, the bug is definitely back for fishing. Having that month off through March, the bug is most definitely back. Do me a favor, subscribe. I'm focus on me, everybody wants to see me. There we go. Yeah, they are, look, beanies. They're not massive. They're not dead thick. They're nice and nice and loose not like the ones i've tried some that just give you squeeze your head um, but these are these are quite nice and soft um yeah and don't think summer's around the corner because trust me it's going to drop cold tonight it really is going to drop cold so yeah there's your one last look before it drops dark beanies hoodies like i say these are the prototype ones i didn't want that other a on so that's been fixed, orders are going in, get your orders in, appreciate it if anybody wants to cop one of them, so they're, uh, really appreciate it, look at that. Cracking sunset, anyway, let's uh, start to get kitted up for the night time then shall we? Like I say, I think I've got no tip lights. Just bits and pieces, so I'll try and come up something uh, a bit creative to fix that problem. And get these baits in and get these swapped before it goes dark, get some fresh smell in the water. Mm. Just there, look. Because who doesn't love a good sunset?
This summer I want to do a sunset to sunrise fishing session. One big video, camp out on a beach somewhere or on the rocks somewhere, you know, find a nice little rock, rock shelter, get set up, get a camping stove down there, cook a couple of meals up while we're there, you know, whiting and stuff like that. Fancy that, really fancy that this year. I'm going to make it happen. I think I've got another touch on my rod. Oh, I do love it when my rods get a good touch. Ah, let's get into this then. See what we're doing. So I'm pretty confident it's just going to be a shitload of weed. Oh no, or a snag. Even. Well, it's just gone half eight now, so it's just gone high tide, it's starting to calm down lovely. I mean, there's still a fair chop on for the Bristol Channel, but that wind's died right off. I tell you what, if you're fishing it tomorrow on Good Friday, it will be absolutely stunning, I'm sure. Turn around on my rod, see if we can see them. In fact, I tell you what, I'm going to go live. Right, I'm going to go live and see who joins. Well, in case you can't see that rod tip, it's thrashing around like a good one. Tide, weed shrapnel in the water um, frankly it's becoming a pain in the arse not the not the session I was hoping for but like I said earlier and I say it over and over again it's good to be back out it's reminding me why I do it so if anything happens between now and wrapping up I'll bring you back if not, thanks for watching, take care and tight lines and I'll see you on the next video.